Hello. Hi. Welcome back, and I'm glad you came. I'm Miss Solite, and thank you for returning to my tour room. We're going to get some message out and see what's happening. All right. We're going to ask our spirit guides, our angels, and our ancestors to tell us what's going on in the situations or to drop down any messages that they have to say. So let's just get right on into it, okay? Let's see. For some of y'all out there having a love situation, we're going to start with the love oracles, okay? The situation love deck. If one of these situations applies to your life, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Not all, everything in this reading is for you. This is not a personal reading. This is a general reading. But I do want to thank you for coming and let you know. Please feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. I hope y'all out there doing well. Let's see what we have for the love situation on our coast. Let's see what's going on. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, tell me what's going on in this situation. Tell me what's going on in this situation. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, tell me what's going on. Tell me what's happening in this situation. All right. We got sword in the rose. We got hammer. We got karmic relationship and we got picture okay mm -hmm. seduction abundance and cupid arrow and the golden mirror on the other side okay somebody's wearing a mask in this situation all right let me see here so attraction teasing hooking up you know date third party Temptation. I send the energy. Positive mindset. Manifest gratitude. With blessings, you know. So, if this, this may uh, have something to do with you, Cupid's arrow, have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation. Struck by love. The golden mirror. Narcissist. Love bombing. Self-absorbed. One-sided. They wearing a mask on that. Okay, so. They're looking at your picture in the mirror more than likely. You know, they probably love bombing you. You think you've been hit by Cupid's arrow, but you really need to see. Okay? You need to see what's going on. It's the sword in the rose. Okay? Clarity and truth. Revelations. Honor and protection. Determination. Like I said. You really need to see the truth in this situation. It may be time to put the hammer down. You know, they could be sabotaging or, re or rebuilding. Definitely persistent in working on repairing this situation. Okay. However, this could be a toxic karmic relationship. You know, where there's resentments and triggers. Uh, misperceptions about you. Intensity and letting go turmoil and fleeting letting go of these feelings okay maybe looking back down memory lane looking at pictures missing you nostalgia you just want to make new memories that's that cupid arrow and seduction going back for reflecting but this person could be a narcissist you know what i'm saying love bombing you Hitting you, they're not, you responding and you don't hear nothing. They definitely got a huge ego issue. And uh, maybe one of y'all is feeling like the relationship was one-sided after actually getting some clarity in this and seeing the truth. This could be your situation. I don't know. It very well could be. Let's see what else we get. Not the seduction. What else? What else? Right. Okay. Girl with a snake. More BS. Shit, you gotta have your eyes open to see. Okay? So I feel like with this Cupid Arrow, they could be love bombing you, you know, but still have faith and love. Don't give up because someone is ascending. Mindset is ascending. They're learning, they're expanding, transcending to a higher mindset, paradigm shift. A lot of people are having that. Libra Moon gonna come in in a minute. A uh, new moon and um, balance everything out. So think about what you've been investing, whether it be good or bad. 
And just think when the Libra new moon come in and that whole cycle, there's going to be balance and justice. So that's going to come in. This person may be wanting to take you on a date, have a talk over a cup of coffee. You know, they want to savor the moment when they're with you. They feel high and elevated. And I'm hopeful that you guys can rebuild your friendship. This will go with right here. That's what I feel. I feel like this is about two different people. This could be two different type of situations where someone wasn't something toxic, you know. And now you remembering and looking back on the pictures. Thinking about the happier times. Hoping to rebuild that connection. The clock is ticking. Okay, needing time. Cycles. Take time. Time to heal. Progress. I feel like uh, after reflection in the mirror time, this person is realizing that, you know, damn, they didn't expect you. They didn't expect that. And I think it might have been a third party situation because it's a girl with a snake here and a sword in the road. So that's good and bad. Let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, wedding rings. And I've seen rings twice. They are really looking at your pictures and thinking about stuff. And it's coming shocking to them. They don't know if you're a twin flame, a soulmate, or what's going on. They just don't. They don't know. But they like thinking, damn, I got to snatch this up. They thinking about your good times. And it's shocking to them maybe that they miss you. Yeah, I think they miss you. Mm-hmm. I think of this twin flame. So sometimes twin flames ain't all good. They they come in to teach us something, you know. Maybe both of you've learned something. Let's see, we had a flipper, <laughs> the chaser. So you know, someone's afraid of abandonment, so they chasing the codependencies. You know, they realize something. I don't know what spirit died. Yeah, this person who didn't think they might have any feelings for you do. <laughs> interested in you, seriously interested in you, you know. Blooming romance, flirting, and they want to go on a date. You know, they just want to, like, keep you near them. And they heartbroken right now, you know. Somebody heartbroken. Hmm. Feeling lost. Another flipper. Two flippers. The snake in the date. Oh, wow. That's very interesting. You know, in the snake card, it talks about the competition of energy, other women looking over your shoulder. This could happen on a date. Somebody get called out. You know what I mean? But it's saying no matter what happened, this could have past happened, already happened, or about to happen, whether it be friendship, business, or career. You know, um, they like telling you, you know what, get back out there. You're a good person. You know, you ain't got to um, sit home and wait and believe what one person has to say about you. Remember to love who you are. See who they are and love who you are. Okay, I see separation. So some of y'all may be in separation and these things have happened to you where you was out on a date and, you know, another person who's been with your person came up and was outspoken. So currently you're in sadness, perhaps, or the other person is for, like, doing what they did. They're trying to reground themselves. They could be lacking confidence. Okay. They want to talk. Yep, I see talking. I see communication coming. And be careful of their ego. They're really just afraid. And they're frustrated. So they may say something to self-sabotage the conversation. Even though that's not what they really mean. What else we got here? <laughs> Watching, looking, percep uh, perception, and stalking. They have their mind made up. They think they know ever something about you. You know, that may be not true, but they spying. Or you're spying. Someone is. You have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. They're trying to find out more about you, about the truth, about who you are, what you do, where you go, who you be with, I'm hearing. Because they're serious about you. 
You make them feel like they in paradise. Petty dice. They not ready to talk today, but they getting ready to talk. They want to go about it old school, so maybe a date, a phone call. You know, they have outdated thinking, too. They're playing um, events over and over in their head about what they did, what you could have did, how things went, etc., etc. Okay, so cutting cutting um cutting out separation stopping the pattern and the silent treatment so y'all could be separating and not talking i mean you could be you know deciding to cut out certain t certain ways of thinking certain ways of doing things you know you want to break the cycle you want to stop the pattern so right now you could be in a meditative state or they could just thinking about things just thinking about things you know that's what it could be oh one more yeah, they hide how they really feel no matter what. That's just the point blank truth. But they really deep down inside, won't you? Okay, let's see what else we got. Let's see what else we got. Another message. Another message. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you found something in this reading that, uh, you know, you could resonate to, or that uh, made you feel good. It helps with the AI rhythms. I appreciate you. And I'm grateful too. And thank y'all for all the emails. Man, I've been trying to get back. I've been doing some readings. I've been asking people, can I post their readings? You know, because I asked first before I just post a paid reading. So, um, some of them like want to keep their confidentiality. But I do thank y'all for hitting me up and booking with me at simplybooking.com. I'm on there. And you can check me out. So let me see what's um this deck saying about a situation. Okay, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, what do we have to say? Tell us more. I see the emperor and a fool instantly sliding out of here. Let's see. Hold on. So spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for me? What messages do you have? Okay, we got that one. We got that one. And one we got that one. We ain't taking all those, but we will take the one that flipped over. Okay, let's see what we're starting at. We're starting with the uh, four of cups. And four of wands. And this one was next. The King of Cups. The Queen of Wands. And the Page of Pentacles. And one more. Oh, Dex messed up. Hold on. Oh, this is the one. These, that's three more. My bad. So we're going to take them all and read them all. Okay, this one go here. And this is um, forget what that one is. This the world we got the world, the star, <laughs> the page of swords, more spying, more getting more information, and you got the uh, four uh, pinnacles. No, the nine of pinnacles, abundance. Grapes is abundance. Fortune. The Hierophant. This is the Hierophant. Yes, sir. That's the Hierophant. And this is the um, Ten of Pentacles. Much abundance. Okay. So these last two cards for advice is much abundance. That's what's up. So I'm looking at um, someone is extending a, a stable offer. And that's genuine. Okay. It's real. It's genuine. Okay. And they find you <laughs> all outdoor sexy, just damn well attractive. They want you. They think you complete projects, you get shit done. And they're going to either make an apology, extend an invitation, or, um, you know, give you a gift. And they serious. They, they, they like, this is their belief. You know, this is something they believe in. This is a commitment. This is real. Okay. Then you have let me move these up and touching them. Mm mm mm. 
Then you have the world. So that's closing old cycles. They 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 want to start something new with you, and they got great they got great hope. They, they you know they they want to they want to stay positive, you know. But they want to learn and find out more before they come in with this offer. That's just the real, okay? Because I mean, you ten of pentacles and um, eight of pentacles, no, ten of pentacles and nine of pentacles. So they see you as single, independent. Uh, take care of yourself. You got some money. I mean, you got all the money. You got the nine and the ten here. The nine and the ten of pentacles. That's like that. Okay. I'm going to ask for more more on the... Um, let me see. More on the world. So, spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Tell me more about this world card. What's this coming? What's, what's this old closing and starting new cycles? What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. So it is. Ooh. This is the hermit. They've been thinking. Introspection, self-reflection, thinking about things. Until illumination occurred. Secrets, fear, the moon. So they're afraid. Something may have came out. They're afraid. It's the moon. They want to create new beginnings, though. It's a ma magician energy. I, I don't know if it's manipulation. Let me see the card behind it. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got the six of... The nine of pentacles. So, even though... And the queen of cups. So, they see... They, they want to create something with you. Or they see that you got all the tools you need to create whatever um, you need to create. You know, you're the queen of cups. Even though you've been wounded, you, you up. You up and at them. They having fantasies and um, they they got you heavy on the brain, heavy on the brain. Okay, with the seven of cups, they like man fantasies, illusions. You on their mind, and they stuck too. Eight of swords, and it's the emperor. And that's real. It's a burden. He's obsessed. They got toxic ways. They obsessed. You know, maybe there's been some conflict and fighting in the past with this Five of Swords. However, you they wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. That's right. And they've been hoping you healing or they're healing or they're shocked that you are healed. They shocked. You healed, okay? They shocked. They want to get together with you. That's real. They want to get together with you. This is the, this is the, um, damn, what is that one, 10? I want to say this is the Hierophant. Oh, High Priestess. This is a spiritual connection. Y'all will be moving forward to the Ten of Cups. This is a very spiritual connection. You got the High Priestess here and the Six of Swords, the Hierophant's on the board, and you got two Tens. You got Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. You got the King and Queen of Cups down here. And you got the Two of Cups. This is meant to be. This will be moving forward from rough waters to calmer waters. There will be an offer, a good news, something coming your way, some good luck. Okay. Let's go to another deck. That sounds wonderful. This could be, uh, you know, a water sign or fire sign. It could be any sign because you got the star card here. So all things are possible, you know. Have more, have enough faith to move mountains in your situation, you know. There's power in the in the words. There's power in the words too, if you use them. Power in words. Okay, so let me see. Um, let me go to the cosmic oracle real quick, and let's see. Where this is going, what's happening, what's coming next, what's coming next in this connections. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you enjoy the reading, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Subscribe to my channel. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, okay? Oh, wow. It's a love spell, and they'll be back. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, moving forward, moving, maybe relocating into a new home. What else we got? Because you're at a distance, so maybe this person wants to come closer to you. Tell me more. Who could this be? They might have pets. Tell me more. 
And they have pets or like pets or you have pets. Yeah, they like uh, the love spell. I'm moving on from that. I'm not under no spell. I'm going to break free of any anything that binds me. To, to binds my free will. It's challenging moving on for this person, whoever it is. There's challenges and obstacles. They may have a gold digger and they missed. You know, you're trying to get them to go out on a date night or say they're pregnant. You know, but they want communication. Could be an earth sign. Give it time. Give the communication some time. It's coming. Tell me more, spirit. Okay. Could be a water sign. That was like from the one of the earlier um, breaks and readings. What else, spirit guides? Oh, I got a flipper. A flipper, a flipper, a flipper. Oh, let's for guys like this. Okay, proceed with caution. Because they may have somebody out there pregnant or, or be coming in to go dig on you. You know, give it time. Don't rush. What's the hurry? No, you're worthy. Take a vacation. You know, go do something for yourself to remember who you are before reconnecting with someone else. That way you stay confident in who you are. Let me see. But they want to go somewhere. They look like they want to take you somewhere on a vacation. They like give it time. This could be a water or earth sign. Okay. Yep, pets. So somebody got pets. Who don't like a lovable animal? They just love you unconditionally. Be patient. Be patient. Let me see. Come about the vacation. What's more spirit? More. Oh, yeah. Cycle. So maybe y'all get in an argument and to make up y'all go on vacation or something. I don't know. That's how y'all might reconnect, you know. You're more cautious this time. You want to give it time. You know, you want to move on from the challenges. Y'all need to talk to each other. It says communication. So they're going to be communicating with you. They'll be back. Maybe they've got, I don't know. They felt like they, man, you're going to manifest this person. That's crazy. So open up your heart when they come back. Don't be mad, bitter, or angry. None of that. Open up your heart and hear what they have to say. You know? I mean, you're, reading, you're looking at Tarot, so you kind of want to know what's going on. I see a consist, consistency of repetitive cycles, but y'all moving on from that this time. You know, give it time. Be patient. Open up your heart. There's challenges. Could be a pregnancy was the challenge, you know. There's pets, but there is manifestation. So you thinking about this person probably just as much as they're thinking about you. Maybe you thinking about the cycles of lies that weren't true, and you like I'm not having it no more, no more lies. They don't want to lie anymore. They want a commitment. So open up your heart. You've manifested this. Okay. Let's see. It could even be a fire sign. <laughs> okay. But you got your guardian angels protecting you. They want to be intimate. Okay. They want to be in, they want to have intimacy. They want to let go of all the past hurt. And here we are in Mercury retrograde right now. So they definitely spying on you. You know, don't let this stress you out. Okay. And use your intuition. Okay. Okay, let's get some love oracles, some final messages here. Final messages. Wait, let me do one more deck. I'm gonna do this other deck. Let's see how I go. Yeah, I'm doing this at home instead of my store because the internet's not still working there pretty good. I'm getting it up there though. I've officially opened my store. So let's see. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Tell me about this person. Tell me about this person. Okay. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
and they in back down memory lane. They 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 remembering. They having nostalgia. They thinking back about the past. Okay, this King of Wands is thinking about the past. You know, and all the arguments with this Five of Cups. All the mind game. Um, all, he has regret, disappointment. You know, um, they do. You know, about an ending y'all went through. <laughs> yeah, where he might have been acting like the King of Swords. You know, rude. You know, uh, just saying whatever the hell come out of his mouth, and now there's silence, okay? But at, at this time, during Mercury Retrograde, there has, th this person may be in a judgment, thinking, thinking about you, thinking about the time. I see the world card here, too. It just flipped. So, they want a new cycle. And they coming in to tell you that. Yes, they are. They coming to tell you they want a new cycle. Because they feel like you're the queen of cups. You love it unconditionally. Whereas uh, they um, they may be in this king of pentacles energy. You know, having the money, having the position, uh, wanting to be loyal at this time. Feeling like you make them happy. Yeah, they love you. They sure do. Uh -huh. What's this last card? They want to work together. They want to get together. They want to plan something with you. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. Oh, it's going to shock you. The tower's here. You're going to be shocked that they love you with this Ace of Cups. Oh, my. Okay. And this is justice. This is karmic, karmic justice. This is universal justice. It's here for you. Okay. Your emperor is coming in. There it is. The emperor. Okay. But you might be in this Queen of Swords energy and um, not sure about what you want to do because... Um, from past behavior, you know, you just might be like, Emperor, I have to think about it because they broke your heart. Okay. Yes, they did. But they want a new passionate beginning, girl. They want a transformation or to, sir, ma'am, whoever. They want a transformation in the situation. Okay. Will of fortune. Good luck is on your side. I definitely feel that, especially when it comes to equal give and take. Somebody is choosing you. Okay. They got the world in their hand. They got the holding on to the one. They got their back turned to the other one. They are choosing a new path. Okay. Here come the message of love. Or oh, hello, how you doing? How you been? They about to reach out. Communication is coming. They stressing on it too. Let me see what else we got. Oop. They all flew everywhere. Hold on. <laughs> One minute. They obsessed. It's the devil. You know, they could have some toxic codependencies, sex addictions, drug addiction. Uh, just obsessed with you, too. That could be part of it. Obsessed with being back in your life, part of your life, or wanting, to, you know, some codependency issues. It could be considered toxic. You know what I'm saying? So be careful with that. The devil. It could be a Capricorn. I see all the signs here. I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see Scorpio. Uh, I see Sag standing straight out with the judgment. Spirit guys, what else we got? Fear, there's fear. The moon. Um, but it's shining so bright in this card. I'm thinking like they could be feeling like they need to be led by their intuition or they're afraid because Got the nine of wands to the ten of wands. So, you know, it's a burden maybe for you or for them. You could be fearful, you know, of what secrets or what the moon is going to reveal or what's going to come out, you know. Maybe they could have been in community property for a little while, you know, out there. I don't know. The knight of wands showed his face. But then here we got victory, um, honor, high achievement, recognition, Okay. And stability. Four of Wands to the Queen of Wands. To the Three of Wands. To the Temperance. Alright. This message says. They're stable. Or they, they find. They find that with you. Their stability. Because they find you desirable. Attractive. Completing things. Getting things done. Your ship's coming in. And that you're well balanced. Or this could be a Sagittarius. I mentioned it earlier. 
Okay, what else we got? Um, this is the general message. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, please hit the like and subscribe button if you found anything in this message that resonated with you. We're going to get three more. Somebody's defensive and guarded. Okay? But would like to move forward and reconcile. There's either a delay, a change of... The hangman in reverse. They don't made up their mind to have this new beginning with you, okay? After introspection with the Herman, after thinking about things, seeing the light, basically, okay? The waiting may be over. All right, let's get some messages. So we're gonna get I'm gonna get your love oracle. That's what I'm gonna do. And I may read a passage out of the wisdom. Let's see. You got to. It is what it is. Balance. Which reminds me of our guardian angels and the temperance card. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. I don't know if I thought so that one. Reflection. Give each other space. At the, at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay. And we do believe that. And for your words of wisdom, I'm going to give you um, this reading here. If you have become excessively fixated on dealing with worldly issues, regrets will await you and your karmic obstacles will increase in vexation. If you handle things appropriately with Dharma wisdom, your heart will be filled with Dharma joy. Dharma is about getting what you put out in the universe in return, the good deeds. That's Dharma, okay? Karma is when it's the opposite. We all would like to do good deeds and welcome Dharma at this time, especially with the new moon coming in in Libra, because it's definitely going to balance the scales of justice. I thank you for being here, and I want you to remember, no problem is deeper than the ocean. Come back and see me again. Thank you for subscribing and liking this video. Take care. Bye-bye.